Dive into the unpredictable world of Karens and Kevins causing a stir. Jumping right into today's episode with this Kevin. He is there having a meltdown and throwing tantrums. Then the parents come and make a fuss about their crybabies. Seriously? Look at him, man. That's your What is it? You joking! One hamburger. Fine. And stuck in my boy. Ten minutes of fast food. Are you joking? Your whole life. Yeah, yo. Make a scene because no one there. Who has the most there? You. Ten minutes. Fifty. Why right now? Crazy dude abuses this girl. Watch him when he listens to her talking about cops. He's losing the air like a balloon. So next time you do that with my kids in the car, I will find where you live and cut your throat. Do you understand me? Yeah, the cops do too. Now, this Karen and Kevin throws their dog's poop in the bushes. Just be responsible or don't own a dog, buddy. It's disgusting to see it everywhere. What happened to that bag of dog shit, man? Oh, I'll put it by the other garbage. They had like a container of garbage back there. I think you take your garbage in and out. They had the container of garbage back there. Was it? All right. I'm just saying, I used to work here at a park, and one of the things that used to happen is people would take, pick the dog poop up in a bag yeah. and then throw the bag in no, the... No, there's a little pile back there. ...in the uh, bushes. You know, well, you'd be better off throwing the poop in the bushes and not use yeah, the bag. It's, uh, it's not a... Uh, there's a little pile of garbage back there, so you'll see it. Okay. Okay, good boy. That's right. You used to work here? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So why don't you go tell the park ranger that there's a bag of garbage back there? Well, you can certainly tell them. I was going to go tell them, but you're friends with them, so it may be easier for you. I just, you know, I just, how many times I pe see people with the dog in the bags, and they got in a hand, and five minutes later, the bag is gone. I mean, yeah, you go right back there. Take if you read the park rules, it's take in, take out your garbage. You okay. left your garbage. You go back there, because other people the left garbage. garbage doesn't justify you leaving garbage. Listen, man, we got enough to worry about, not you over here. I don't like people like you coming here and disrespecting the park. I, like I know you don't care. I don't know who the f think you are, but leave I don't know who the f you think you are. You come to the park and you disrespect it and you leave your dog bag. Disrespect it, man. Stop trying to pick an argument. No, it is worth arguing. Go home. Go leave the crap in your yard. And if you got an issue with it, call the police. Go ahead. You call. I'm pointing out what you want. Take the dog and leave your dog home. You see what happens? They come down to the park with the dog. The dog put it in a bag, 
Then they don't know what to do with the bag because they're walking around with dog. That guy had a hell of a pile in that bag. So his justification to leave the bag here is because other people left the bag. So we're going to go over here and look at the bags. There's the piles. Yep. That's the dog in his hand right there. There are Karens who can't accept goodness from people. This Karen gets her money back, an apology, and free food, but she keeps on whining. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts. I came in here with 50, no, I came in here with $72. My daughter had $5. I gave her seven. She lost two on the street. So I gave her my extra dollar to get her lunch. Have the change right here. I gave a young lady that works here $20. When it comes time to clear my bill out or give me my change, the young lady's telling me I did not give her any money, okay? And I need my change to do stuff with. That is why I came outside specifically with $70, because I have something that costs $55 I plan on getting, and the rest was going to be my change, my little spending money for the week. I'm a hardworking woman. Yes, I just got paid, but I got bills. That is what my paycheck is for, bills. This is a Dunkin' Donuts here. That's their address. That's the young lady. Can you give me a second? I can't hear. Yes, that's Thank fine. You. They're trying to rectify it now. I mean, they're trying to go back and look on cameras now. The way I'm to understand this, is this your daughter? Yeah. Okay. She ordered. She placed the order. Mm -hmm. That transaction was done. Change was given back to her. And then you decided to place a second order subsequent to the first. And gave her the twenty dollars. Right. And that's where you you're saying you gave her the twenty dollars. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's where the discrepancy is coming. Exactly. You're saying that no money ever hit the counter. So that's not correct. I put the money I'm right there. Telling you where I'm she telling you. Me. That's all. Okay. I know what she would have said. She's gonna. She's gonna yeah. I guess they're looking at it now. Okay. She's on the phone with the corporate. Okay. Try to figure it out. And now he's coming back. The Slaker was free. I'm very sorry about that. Thank you. Sorry for the, you know. What exactly, sorry, sorry. What exactly, what exactly happened though? Like, why was I just returned my $20 moment, like, you almost a half an hour? Okay, no problem. I'm very sorry. I'm, okay. Whatever you did have, don't worry about it. No, but what I'm saying is, what? It was seen. It's an in-house thing? Listen. It is an in-house thing. Just go. I wow. apologize. That's it. Please go. Okay. I'm very sorry for the end. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. And I appreciate you, sirs. Thank you for doing the right thing. Thank you. This is the Dunkin' Donuts. They're dealing with it inside, as in she did steal my money, like I said. Okay. This is the Dunkin' Donuts in Kingston, New York, on Broadway. I came in here with $72. The young lady stole my money, tried to say I did not give her any money, and they returned my 20 just to show you that it was said on camera, my money was in fact stolen. Presenting you this annoying Kevin. He takes the girl in for a job and refuses to pay her. Look at all of his demonic smear and carelessness of what the lady's saying. Wow, man. Yeah. yeah. Right in your face. Mm -hmm. Right in my face, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're not paying. Okay, all right. Don't worry, the cops are coming. Work my sister and don't want to pay her. Don't want to pay my sister. Put my sister to work and don't want to pay her. Don't want to pay her. This right here, Richard Gray. Put your on blast. He owns Scotch Bonnet restaurant. When you eat his food, you, you get um, diarrhea. That's why my sister was so sick because she ate your food and she was vomiting all night and all day. You owe my sister five hundred and forty dollars. She want her money. She want her money. She won her money, $540. Those hair you got on your face, you need to go shave them. Don't buy nothing here. This food will give you diarrhea.
Yeah. Yeah, the cops are coming. The cops are coming. The cops are coming. This is crazy. You can't do people like that. You cannot do people like that. And you don't care. Hi, officer. How are you? This man right here, he's the owner for this for this place. Right. He hired my sister to come work with him. Okay. I'm sorry. He hired my sister to work with him. Okay. My sister been working with him. Okay. And he, he doesn't want to pay her. Oh, okay, he man. does not want to pay her at all. He owes her $540. She got her rent to pay. Okay. You understand? She got her bills to pay. He kept giving my sister to run around. Oh, come today. Come tomorrow. Come next week. I'm going to text you when to come and, st and curse her out and tell her, oh, he's rich and he got it and this and that. But when it comes time for, for, him, for her to get her money, he doesn't want to give it to her. Do you have like, um, uh, 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 like, do you have like the proof of the text? Or yes. Show, show, show him the text. Show him the text. And he's talking about, oh, I don't care. I did it already. I'm not paying you. All of that. This man right here. You can't work people like- Take him to court. He definitely will pay there. His attitude is outrageous. So sad. How he knows that they're all from the same origin and does that to the poor girl. That and don't pay them. You cannot do that. We're all Jamaicans. It's so funny that we're from the same country. The same country. And you treat us like Are you supposed to be Jamaican? Because, yeah, because he knows she doesn't have certain things. That's, that's the reason why he treat her like that. Come on, she's trying. This is a little girl that's trying to make, to make a living. Come on, you can't put her to work and not pay her. This is not right. This is not right. I'm going to pay the court fees and, 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 and take him to court. That's what we're going to do. This is something he get away with all the time. And talking about, oh, I always get away with it. Okay, this time you're not getting away with it. And I'm gonna make sure you don't get away with it. Yeah, laugh, laugh. I'm gonna make sure you don't get away with it. You have a bad reputation. A bad reputation. And you go into court. Talk about I don't care, I don't care. Okay, we, we you're gonna see. This is ridiculous, man. You can't you can't treat people like that. Okay. Moving forward, this angry old man loses his cool on the train. He's so funny when he apologizes to people. At least he has the guts to know he's doing wrong. Hilarious. Cheeks, mate. 
Crazy heads get into a brawl in a restaurant. Go to a playground and have fights there, Karens and Kevins. People go here to eat in peace and not to encounter your dramas. This creepy Kevin tries to get inside these people's home. It's really sad to watch youngsters losing their minds either with entitlement or with drugs. Pathetic.
Karens are real public entertainers. Now, look at this. The cashier refuses to let this Karen go because she hasn't paid for her shopping. All this drama for two pennies, viewers. Wait till you have to watch more stupidity in these never-ending episodes. Make me get out.